10, 8, and 9. Nice, Chris. So luck. The fl yeah, the flames are working. I, I restored, that's why. Did you think you had done away with the great Imperator Soline Solex? Fool! You won a small battle. I will win the war. I have created an entire dimension. What have you done? My mind is sharper, my body stronger, my knowledge fast. I rule two empires because I am capable of nothing less. Two empires, both indestructible and unquestionable. Don't you show your face to me, Solux, unless you're ready to fight this like a man, <laughs> a woman, like whatever the hell it is you are. Nice. This time, there's no virtual war. I want to feel your flesh ripping my hands and your blood spilling my shoes. I want to know that you're dead and rotting in a place fouler than any hell you could create. By the way, we never found the computer room. Wait a minute. Uh, we've disabled the workers, but we haven't found the room. But anyway. And we did send the tube with the... Well, it wasn't with the crash program, though. That was with a gas bomb. I guess we still got to do that. As you wish. It's time you felt the power of the hand of God firsthand, Rachel Brock. Oh, nice. Yes, we'll have to do that, Chris. We'll have to do that. Yes, Wild Star. I've already seen what you're made of, Solux. You destroyed the man I loved. You destroyed an entire nation. You even destroyed me once. But I'm back, and this time I know who I am. I'm the woman who's here to kick Imperator Soline's ass. Ass kicking you deserve. Hey, Retro Canadian. I was about to say she has wings, but no, she's just thrown off her cape. Give it up, Rachel. Relinquish your soul to me. It's God's will, sister. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I was trying. I thought she, I thought that was dialogue I had to skip. Uh. But unfortunately, I just skipped whatever the cutscene was, so <laughs> got her store. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay, did we already at this point did we get rid of the um, bomb? Yeah, it looks like we did. Okay, I gotta enter this again. Uh, six, three, four. Well, here let me just write it down. Six, three, one, four. Seven two five ten eight nine seven two two five. Game over, man. It's game over. Eight nine. Yeah, this is the other thing. You guys may not have noticed this, but when they do have these cutscenes with this dialogue exchanging, you literally have to right click when a character one character finishes saying their lines. You have to right click or press the enter key for the next character to start. It's not like an uninterrupted, continuous cutscene. Which, sometimes it's convenient because you can obviously, you know, if I want to say something or pause in the middle of a cutscene, I can do that. However, it also is incredibly annoying, and in that instance, as we just saw, they made me think, all right, you finished talking, now I need to, i just in the habit of right-clicking after every time someone finishes talking. I didn't know it was going to go into an action cutscene, which is a little bit different. Lux. Did you think you had done? Don't you see now? I have to right click to advance you. this. I've already seen what you're made of. Okay, here we go. Give it up, Rachel. Relinquish your soul to me. It's God's will, sister. See, that's when I hit the right click because it just seems like she was done. And these are God's hands. <laughs> Flap. This is almost as easy as having to do away with your little boyfriend. But I must admit, it won't give me nearly as much pleasure. <laughs> you sick bastard. This time I will see you in hell. 
flat. Okay, so basically we just knocked her, <laughs> we just knocked her out. God's will be done, as if we like threw off the cliff of vol in, like into a fiery volcano where she's dead. But no, we just punched her against the wall. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I think that's what happened, Honda. I think that's what happened. Now the character is the Imperator Selene Select is supposed to be androgynous, so it's not the gender of the uh, character is supposed to be sort of. Uh, Unknown or whatever. Okay, all right. Now we we just randomly opened up the new exit to the okay virtual health computer center. Let's go there. Okay, so we did not. So the bomb worked. All the guys got knocked out. In retrospect, it may have been fun to see what the. Um, what the death would have looked like here if you hadn't knocked them all out. No, those aren't New Age Barca loungers. They're simply meant to encourage REM enhancement of the VERT program the chair's victims will be hooked up to. Progress is charted on the giant video monitor, while program options can be programmed on the smaller bank of vid screens. Okay, so now we're supposed to inject the crash bug into the CPU system. L mainframe. You've never seen a computer system like this one before. The Hand of God's mainframe that controls hell. Okay, where is, where actually is that? Here? Okay, so I guess we're supposed to use the uh, hell bug with that. Once you introduce the crash bug, it will begin to corrupt the hell data files. While the crash bug does its work, we will do ours by storming Voice of God Communications. That's, a, that's we must literally a bug. in Washington and cyberspace. The torture must stop. With such conviction, I can see why she was elected senator. Torture must stop. has begun. Solene Solux's rule ends today. As this video output proves, hell is a lie, a malefic computer-generated illusion rendered with illegal technology and used to create fear, a fear they use to perpetuate their unjust rule. Today, because of great acts of individual heroism, that rule ends. In the coming days, I will need the help of all Americans as I move to form a provisional government. I will formally address the country in a few days. Until then, I say with renewed energy and spirit, God bless America. Washington, D.C., three months later. Excuse me, Ms. Brock? The ceremony honoring you and Mr. Ashante begins in 10 minutes. President Burr is waiting. Thank you, Sergeant. I'll be right there. Well, we saved the world, big guy. Big guy? Sleep well. You've earned it. 
least I know you're in heaven. You've already survived hell. <laughs> oh, there it is. After 22 hours and 15 minutes, hell has frozen over. The Imperator Selene Solox has been punched in the groin. Our hellish nightmare is over. And a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, yeah, that's that, that was my thought too, Nox. From a gameplay perspective, the characters you choose didn't really seem to matter until, I guess, whoever dies has to die. Oh, man. I'm hoping this is the last time I have to hear this song, too, by the way. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so... I've spent enough time uh, ranting about this over the last uh, couple streams, but... Clearly, just the game design execution here was fairly lacking. Uh, again, we ended up with more crashes than bugs, so there were glitches galore, walking dead scenarios there at the end. There were passwords you were supposed to enter without ever having received them. I mean, yeah, just the way that the setup was there at the end was just really bad. Just really bad. Yeah, only three QA people. There's probably a lot for them to QA, too. Yeah, I am curious about that, Shikai. What would have happened? Special thanks to Peter Brent. No, so thank you, Rough Galaxy. I mean, I'm glad we, I'm glad we did it and we got it out of the way. And you know, there were some entertaining things about the game. And whatever happened to Mr. Beautiful? Like, why was he in our party? I guess this maybe there was something. He's unfucking believable. Maybe there's something we could have done with him, but like, we never found him the body. And he like, didn't say anything for most of the second half of the game. Weird. But yeah, I mean, there were good parts of the game. Like, the graphics were good for the time. And again, there were some humorous, at least, character ideas and, like, one-liners. But the voice acting, by and large, the voice acting was actually pretty brutal. Like, Rachel Brock's vo voice actress was pretty bad. Like, so was the Senator Burr's. Like, it was very uh, monotone. Yeah, the first half of the game wasn't bad. Like, I wasn't complaining about the game for the first half. I was. There was a little bit, like, a lot of plot going on. Like, did they really need to throw in, like, the menials and the psionics and all that kind of stuff? It seems like a lot going on. Unnecessarily, and there was. It seemed like there were a lot of plot threads that were total loose ends that they never. They introduced and then never resolved them. Oh, you're not supposed to pick a Mr. Beautiful's hair. Ah. Wow. So, like, why even put those choices if they're... If there are no, like, implications of doing them? I just don't understand. Ah, wow. I, I kind of enjoyed... I did enjoy the actual being in hell, like, going through hell and rescuing all the people, like, those standalone sort of scenes as, like, puzzles. Those, for the most part, were pretty good. Um... Obviously, like, there were problems where they forgot to tell you to put in the state, but that's nothing new. Like, at the, uh, at the schoolroom. Yeah, and the asylum, too. That's right, Nox. The asylum was totally random and, like, dropped. Like, there was that whole big... There was, like, those characters it seemed like we were gonna have to do something with, but they never had to. It's just really weird. Exactly, Amber Seen. That, that is the way... That is the way to look at it, absolutely. So let's head to our uh, Hall of Adventure at game number 87, Hell, a cyberpunk thriller. Up on the board. 